This episode was sponsored by Graycore, North America's leading provider of construction, maintenance, and facilities services. We have uh, a lot of different prototypes that we've developed for various different projects, often focused on one piece of the technology or another, some aspect of an exoskeleton. And each one of those allowed us to learn something different that has influenced all the projects that have come, sure. come since then or projects that we still have on our roadmap that we're going to be doing in the future. Certain ones focused on a very specific aspect of an exoskeleton, like the powered ankle. Now, while that offers certain challenges in terms of cost and added weight into exoskeletons, it was something that allowed to influence all the other designs that came after it. The industrial side is focused on right now are all non-powered devices with the goal of eventually moving to powered exoskeletons. Once you add the components of power, it opens up a whole new world of things that you can do, the weights that you can lift, uh, di different applications, something that we classify as lift and carry, the movement of a load from one place to another is a very popular application we get asked about a lot. That is one of the big items on our roadmap that we'll be looking at in the next couple of years. This is our Exo-Zero-G system. This one here mounts to what's uh, collectively in the industry called AWPs, or Aerial Work Platforms. We looked, at the, we looked at the environment, and a lot of the people using these tools, whether it's grinders, whether it's the rivet busters and chipping hammers we have over there, these heavy tools very often are being used from common platforms, and that could be the aerial baskets here, stationary scaffolding that's set up for a building. And the Exo-Zero-G gets rid of all of that wear and tear by making that tool essentially weightless. You can still position the tool wherever you need it. You've just taken all the hard work out of it and allow the, user, the worker to use their brain, get the job done. And again, a lot of times we've seen an increase in productivity because as you saw when you picked that one up, this thing oh, is yeah. heavy. And even the biggest, strongest, baddest guys in the world, I've seen it. They can right. go for a while, right. but inevitably they drop the tool by their side, take a breather, yeah. and it's just way different you know, than anything, you know, sitting at a computer all day. Sure. It's tough work. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of times when we think injuries in this type of workplace, we think about slips, trips, and falls, or accidents, something that happens right there. These are solving problems for injuries that people are getting without doing anything wrong. They're doing their job just right. The fact is, it's just really tough work that takes a toll on the body. And the solutions we're developing are designed to help remove a lot of that strain and keep these workers safer over the course of their career. What we're coming out with later this year is a wearable product. Right now, uh, it's dubbed the Vest. So if you like, I can put this one on and sort of show yeah, you guys how it works. You can see here it straps on a lot like a backpack. Yeah. And the first piece is just putting on the hip belt, again, very much as if you were kind of going hiking. Yeah. But I can go from having it sitting on a shelf yeah. to having the entire product on and ready to go yeah. in less than a minute. And the last step is to turn on the actual actuators here. And now as I raise my arms, uh -huh. it's providing assistance right under here. Under under these, the frames underneath my shoulders yeah. so that I can just sit there with my arms up and not have to use my shoulders as much. So it's, it's fun to see the difference it makes in 30 seconds, but uh, it, you, it really shines through if you have to use that kind of thing for a whole day. Yeah. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.